All right, I'm Siren Sage. So, I meant to do this a long time ago, but been going through a lot and haven't really been able to. So, I'll, currently I'm still sick. I've been sick since last Friday. Um I guess that would have been like what I can't see my calendar from here. Basically, I'm getting over rhinitis or the rhinovirus currently. Um, all my videos have been backed up and I've been sick since August 16th. Today is August 21st and it's almost going to be 11 o'clock at night. It's 10.39. Alright, so we're going to go do Emily's story you. chapter. You Don't talk over me. Um, I haven't done it and I meant to. And if you don't know who Emily is, she was the new character that was added a while back. This is Emily. Uh... This is Emily. My controller's still messed up because the chip in it's going out, so... Both my joysticks move by themselves and I can't really do anything about that because I don't have the money to, uh... Buy... Uh, a new one. Controllers are like $60 and I just don't have it. Yeah, so it likes to drift. Try to fight it. Yeah, so this is Emily. She's a new character that was added. There's some people who liked her and there were some people who didn't. Some people were trying to say that her hairstyle didn't match the outfit and all kinds of crap. I don't know. I didn't really know much about her and I still don't know much about her, but... I think she's okay. Um, I like her so far. Not only that, I do like this style of dress. Like this Lolita-ish. Well, it's not really Lolita-ish, but it's like this fancy style of dress. Um, I think it works for her. To me, though, she's kind of like another Lisa character. Like, this is Sumeru Lisa, in my opinion. Because, uh... Lisa is also kind of like that. Like the style of dress. I mean, this is a outfit for her that I have, like a DLC outfit, but... Well, I got it for free. It's a DLC now. What I mean, though, is that their outfits are similar. I'm trying to find her. Because this is her default outfit. See how it's kind of similar with, like, the lace and the flowers and shit? That's what I mean. Like, it's very similar. Their outfits are kind of similar. In that they have lace and flowers. Alright, so let's go teleport to... Over here. It's pretty hot, so I'm probably gonna have to put my fan back on, unfortunately. I turned it off for just a second to see how I would do, but it's really, really hot. I don't like having it on sometimes when I'm recording, because that's all you can hear, but... I start dying of heat, and as I'm already sick, I don't want to make my fevers worse. There's really nothing we can do. One of my roommates went and got checked out, and they told them that uh, he was at the end of it, that he's getting over it. So, I mean, I feel just a little bit better today, and I've been like this for a whole week, so I think I'm almost over it, too. I probably have a little bit longer to go. This looks like Tainari is standing over there. Yeah, so I, I'm kind of well enough to record this. It kind of sucks because her banner is almost over. It literally only has five days as where when it started out, I think it had like 28 or 16. Usually they, they it ranges. There's some banners that are 28 and some that are 16. Uh, I like her weapon though. Uh, this is her weapon. This is her default weapon. The Lemidos LG. It's a pretty cool looking weapon though, but I don't really wish on weapon banners. And the reason why I don't is I'm usually too busy trying to wish on character banners. That by the time I finally do get the character I want to get, if I get them, uh, it's literally like a day or two days before the banner ends. And I don't have enough built up on that banner so I can't get it. I guess this would be cool to get. I think it's a four star.
Hmm. So, like, out of these five, the only two I'm interested in would probably be this. Makaira, Akarami, Marine, and the Wandering Evening Star. Um, I guess this is late Yaylon's weapon. I don't really care for Yaylon, personally. <laughs> Has something on your mind again? Yeah, I'm losing my shit. Let's work we're in together. So we can attack Talk to Suba blah. Yeah, so let's go learn about, uh, Emily, because I don't know shit about this character. I don't know anything about her, so let's go see. I thought I saw a box. I did. So, let's, so let's go s What is she doing? Yeah, that's the glitch. Oh, okay. That's the glitch. So that's how you do it. Can I turn her around? I can't. Well, my controls are reversed. It reverses your controls? <sighs> I can't get out of it. <laughs> I'm trying to go down. I, I guess I'm stuck to this. This is my life now. This is my life. Yeah, you can't go. You can't go down. I'm trying to make her go down, and I can't. It's like locked to this. There we go. It's locked to. Th I was going to make her crawl this way, but I can't. Hold on. Is it because the boat is there? So when you try to climb up, it locks your character? Or? Hold on. He's taller than her, so it might be... No? No, yeah, he's too tall. He's too tall. Let's see. works for Kazuha. No, it doesn't. I guess it's only short little baby <laughs> characters that get stuck in that. They get stuck in it for a second, but because they're too tall, once you get far enough, they pop back out. <laughs> yeah. When it gets, like, over here, see? <laughs> okay. That's funny. What is Kazuha doing? Kazuha. Bro, he's crawling on us. I thought I told him to spray it with water to retain moisture before applying the film. I like how it was night and now it's day. You can't, you can't treat, treat a glaze lily like, like a cactus. cactus. If Sanjay, if Sanjay does, does this again, again the loss will have, will have to come, to come out, out of his food expenses. expenses. <sighs> I'll go talk to him. At this rate, he won't even be able to afford eating cacti for much longer. Hey, Hello, plant. Oh, not botanist. Oh, <laughs> it's you two. It's been a while. What, what brings, brings you to, you to Port Holmes? Man, you are so vibrant. We didn't have anything to do, and this place looks like pretty lively, so we decided to stop by. But, uh, let's talk about the flowers around here. I think the mission was called... Uh, Floral Debt. Well, well Port Holmes is currently organizing a flower, flower exhibition, exhibition featuring, featuring flowers, flowers and plants, plants from all over to that. that. So, so I came, I came to help out. Because you're a botanist. The, the exhibition, exhibition includes, includes flowers from every, from every corner, corner of the world, world each, each with their, their own unique properties, properties and needs. With, with that, that in mind, the curator, curator commissioned a flower pot from Kashara, capable, capable of retaining heat and moisture. moisture. Even, Even so, so, an expert is still required to develop tailored transportation, transportation and care plans for each type of flower. Oh! And that expert is you, right? Not this time, no. I'm just here to help out. The expert in charge is someone else. Emily. Mr. Tynari! Sanjay! Sanjay. He, uh, yeah. he confused the poisonous bowls of garlic suits and he ate them! Ah, uh, never mind. Forget, forget about what I said about the food expenses. Apologies. Trader, Paimon. Looks like I've got something to take care of. I'll be back in just a moment. Paimon is busy no matter where he is. Hmm. 
Too many people are careless about what they eat. Too many people don't do as they're told. Well, it's kind of both. I mean, he did tell the guy not to do certain shit, and he did it anyway. But people, some people will just eat anything. They're like, oh, this mushroom won't kill me. Fucking eats the whole thing, dies. Don't be, don't do as they're told. But did, he, see, this is a thing, though. Did Tainari tell that guy which ones? Well, then again, that other guy knew. He's like, he mistaken these for that, so that other guy knew what they were. But how can you get mad at somebody for not knowing what they don't know? So I don't know the context of what's happening here. I'll just say they're careless about what they eat. Because I, I could say don't do what they're told. I don't know if he told them that. Are you sure about that? I do like a new feature they added um, at the bottom where it says options and review. If you hit review, you can see what previous characters have said. And you can replay the line again. Um, which is neat. If you if you don't hear something right, or you want to you want them to say it again, and then you can also hit the options button to get rid of all shit on the screen for people who want to take screenshots like me. It was a feature I complained about often. I was like, I want to get good screenshots of stuff, but I can't because there's text on the screen all the time. Um, they added that. I wonder if it's because I was complaining about that a while back. I mean, it's not like a big deal. But it is neat to clear the screen for stuff. Feel like I'm losing my mind. I got my hair is long. There's like a long piece. I need to need to pull it. All right, I walk around nearby and get absorbed by the flower. Just just freaking grows and eats her like a piranha plant from Mario. Wow. Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh. Something wrong? You feeling okay? Uh oh. She's allergic to something. Should we go find Tainari? A moment of your time, too? If it's, if it's not, not too, too much, much trouble, trouble perhaps, perhaps you could, you could try, try the incense. It's Emily. Incense? Oh, the scent is so nice! Wait! Wait. You can talk normally now. Oh, I don't know that! I'm just not going to need it anymore! Must have been the incense. So those flowers put together are releasing a pollen that's causing an allergic reaction? Think There's nothing, nothing of it. it. From your attire, I imagine, I imagine you two aren't from Sumeru, Sumeru either. either. Why did she say it like that? Sumeru? She's made it- she said it as if though she was eating fruit. She's like, shoo, shoo, shoo. <coughs> Seeing as we're both travelers from abroad, it's only right, right that we help, help each other out should the occasion arise. Oh, like how they're trying to hide her face when I already know what she looks like. Hmm. I, I suppose, suppose that's, that's accurate. accurate. Oh, oh, allow, allow me to introduce, introduce myself. myself. I'm, I'm Emily, Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Yeah. Oh, I think I might have said she was from Samaria earlier. That's not what I meant. I think the reason why I said that is because her vision is Dendro and Dendro is from Sumeru. So, I think, I, if I remember at the beginning of this, I think I called her a Sumeru character and that's not what I meant. She's not from Sumeru, she's from Fontaine. But the reason why I said Sumeru is I was thinking about her vision, which is Dendro, which is Sumeru. <laughs> Ugh! My bad. I just realized I said that earlier. The Traveler, right? I've, I've heard, heard a lot, a lot about, about you from the Steambird. It's, it's nice, nice to finally put a face to the name. 
I heard about you as well, although I didn't expect to run into you here. But the but the but the but the but we did hear about her. What happened back there? Why was Heimann sitting there teasing all of a sudden? Hmm. Have you ever heard of Hayfever? Yes, that's a real thing. But I don't know. I yes. To put it simply. When inhaled, certain pollens can trigger abnormal physical reactions. Yeah, and then your body starts making you sneeze and your eyes get watered. It's watery the flesh at the histamines from the reaction. That's what my body's been doing to me all week. Uh, wait, 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 I seen these kind of flowers before. I thought they weird half half day. That's because they weren't all together. Well, we're all different. The factors that can trigger a reaction to certain stimuli vary by person. In isolation, the effects, the effects of certain, of certain pollens, pollens may seem minimal, minimal but, but inhaling various types at once can trigger a more overt reaction. But there's no need to worry. Pollen allergies can be effectively mitigated with the use of medication. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Traveler, Traveler. Hi, Mama. There you are. Is everything all right? When he said Traveler, he almost sounded like fucking Ether for a minute and it freaked me out. I left, I left in such, such a hurry, hurry I, forgot I forgot to, to warn you about, about all the pollen, pollen in the air. Yeah, Paimon wasn't having a good time, but Emily helped us. Emily? Ah, what a, what coincidence. a coincidence. Looks, Looks like, like my, my worry was misplaced then. The Traveler, the traveler and Paimon are in good hands. hands. It was, it was nothing, nothing, really. really. We, we happened, happened to run into each other shortly, shortly after my arrival, arrival. and I offered them a bit of help, that's all. The way she talks, it sounds like somebody who's constantly eating watermelon. That's the only way I can explain it. I'm more curious, curious as to why you thought the Traveler and Paimon were in danger. Allergies are highly unpredictable. If you were concerned the pollen might trigger a reaction, that must mean something similar has happened in the past. Yeah, I think, didn't she, I inhaled a pollen that like made her dream or something? I can't remember the quest. I think I was with Tainari and I inhaled something and she got sent to another world like an out-of-body experience. It was like a spirit quest. I barely, like, vaguely remember it. Um, and then there was that other one where she touched that other girl and then, like, only I could see Skara because I touched her. It, c it created, like, a soul connection. But that's, like, something different. That's not really the same, but it's kind of similar because it was, like, an out-of-body experience. But that time, that wasn't. It was more like a ghost experience where only I could see and feel him and nobody else could. It's kind of nightmarish. Remember, Remember the, first the first time, time we, met? we met? You, you fainted after, after inhaling, inhaling spirit warning. Yeah. Look at this. Woo! But Paimon was the victim this time. Yeah, that was an allergic reaction. Was it? Because see, that's the girl in the background, the one I was talking about. She was the one that was going on the spirit trips and she was inhaling that shit and she was the one that connected to Skara's consciousness and then so did I. See that's why I brought it up. <laughs> I was just talking about the spirit warning. Warning. It's not really something you can make sense out of Paimon. There are all kinds of allergies out there caused by a variety of different factors. Some people are even allergic to almonds. Mm -hmm. It's not something they can generalize. There are some people that are seriously uh, allergic to like peanuts and stuff like that. They can't have like peanut butter or anything because they get really sick. I knew a friend one time who was allergic to grape and we found that out because I gave him a grape jelly wrencher and he got horribly sick and we didn't know why. And then we found out he was allergic to grape and uh, he was like start swelling and his throat was closing. We got him help in time, but we none of us even knew. We both didn't realize he was allergic to that. Uh, Cause he ha has always had it before. It was really, really weird. Exactly. I I've even encountered a case of Fontaine where someone had an allergic reaction to soba noodles their family brought back from Unazuma. Whoa! Good thing I'm not allergic to anything delicious. So, are you a doctor, Emily? Hmm. In a manner, manner of speaking, speaking. although oh, you, you can, can say, say the patients, patients I deal with are rather, rather unusual. unusual. Like what? In, In addition, addition to medicine, medicine Emily, Emily is also very knowledgeable, knowledgeable about botany. botany. She's, She's taught, taught me a lot, a lot about, about the native flora around Fontaine. Fontaine. And, and that's, that's where my where expertise, expertise ends, ends, I'm afraid. When it, when it comes, comes to breadth of knowledge, Tainara certainly comes on the top. Oh, I'm a 
Why do I feel like this scene is because we're being watched by someone? In an ancient language, the word is said to mean sacred or noble. It's sometimes used as a name for people as well. Ah, that reminds me. Are you familiar with the historical event in Fontaine known as Perfume Mania? No. Perfume Mania was an event that occurred in Fontaine nearly 20 years ago. I would have been 11. <laughs> I'm 31, so... It all started when several merchants released their own lines of high-end, expensive perfumes, marketing them as must-have luxury products, the very symbol of elegance itself. What the fuck? No one anticipated the absolute frenzy this would create a market, causing the price of perfumes to skyrocket. The demand was twofold. What some saw as a status symbol, most saw as a money-making opportunity. You could take advantage of the soaring price by holding them and reselling at even higher margins. Man, people do that with stuff all the time every day in real life. Give me a break. The value of these products became so inflated. Regular bottles of perfume were even going for hundreds of thousands of more. This resulted in countless disputes and scandals. But at the end of the day, perfume is just perfume. Mm -hmm. The market value greatly exceeded the intrinsic worth of the product, creating an economic bubble that was never going to last. Luckily, the Palais Mimona recognized the danger of intervening before the craze could truly spread. Many profiteers and scammers were thrown in jail as a result. As they should be. In the end, only a few wealthy families were affected when the bubble popped. That's good. It really could have been a lot worse. What does all this have to do with that that goose you mentioned earlier? Well, well during, during the craze, the, the most popular perfume was none other than a goose. The demand far exceeded the supply, to the, to the point, point where it once sold, sold for 10 million more a bottle. Calm down, Paimon. Why is her eyes glittering? After the media ended, most perfumes returned to a normal price. A ghost was the only exception. Its namesake, the flower was you created, went extinct. As a result, no new bottles of a ghost have been made, and the value of the perfume remains exceedingly high. The flower went extinct? Indeed. The goose flower was not a natural variety. It was specially cultivated for use in perfume making. When the bubble popped, all the flower beds used for its cultivation were destroyed in the fire. The variety has never been seen since. I wonder, is the flower that she has on her outfit supposed to be that flower, or is it like a normal bow flower? Because, uh, it can't be a Lumidos bow. I mean, it probably is, because that's the name of her weapon, which looks like that, so... But, didn't you say you came to the exhibition to look for it? Ah, yes. I came to investigate, to investigate a certain rumor that the Auguste flower has reappeared in Sumeru. It's, it's causing, causing quite the stir in the Fontaine perfume market. Traveler, we should have that we look for it! For it. It's just a rumor. There's no way it's that easy to find. If it were, everyone would find it. I have, I have to, agree. to agree. Emily wrote, wrote me to ask if I could look into the room. But, but the, the forest rangers have not received, received any reports, reports of new plant, plant species recently. So what's the flower he's wearing? What is that supposed to be? Mm. Even, Even if, if I can locate, locate the flower, flower I'm, I'm afraid, afraid you'll be disappointed, my mom. mom. I don't I have, have any grand or making endeavors planned. Divine, divine, noble, noble one-of-a-kind. One All beautiful, beautiful sentiments, sentiments, to be sure. sure. But, but to me, they overshadow the very essence of the product. When it, when it comes, comes to perfume, perfume I, want I want people to forget the price and the prestige, and, and focus, focus on the beauty of the fragrance itself. Kasharwar, that's the symbol for it. If I remember correctly, I think Kave is part of the Kasharwar College in the... whatever it is. Wow, so noble! Of course. There's, There's also, also a more practical, practical reason. In, in recent, recent years, low-grade counterfeit, counterfeit versions of the ghost have been popping up on the Fontaine perfume market. Every so often, someone will claim to have recreated the unique scent of the ghost, and the rumor will start comparing the counterfeits to my own work. 
Okay, okay that's, that's more like the reason why I'm mad at you. Ever since the rumors started, three new perfumes claiming to be made from the goose flower have appeared on the market. If I can dispel the fanaticism surrounding the goose, even just by proving the rumor to be false, Fontaine's perfume market can finally start to get back to normal. Then I'll be free from all the stories and added meaning and just focus on making what I like. That makes sense. Either way, even if it's not for Mora, we could still help you. Oh, I would of course be grateful for your help, but I wouldn't want to try. Well, you said it yourself! We're both travelers from abroad, so it's only right that we help each other out! I suppose you're right. Then you have my thanks. Based on the information I have so far, it's unclear if the rumor is true. Mr. Edgar also thinks it's too early to say. But, but we could always, could always go, go talk to him. To him. He, was he was there all those years, years ago, ago, after all. Maybe, Maybe he'll, he'll know something. something. Huh. I was I just about to pay him a visit at the hotel. Edgar? Who's that? The person you've been trying to guess this whole time. The flower expert in charge of the exhibition. He's also the most respected and experienced perfumer in the area. Back when he was still working in Fontaine, a ghost was his creation. I should also mention, he was my teacher. The one who taught me the basics of perfumery when I apprenticed in Samaria. Oh. So this guy was a famous perfumer in Fontaine, but then he came to Samaria to teach people from Fontaine? It sounds confusing. It's a long story. If you're interested, interested, we can, we can talk, talk more about, about it when we see him. He should be staying in the hotel. Why did I get a mail? Fucking. Arlequino? The hell? She's like, let me send you a letter in the middle of your cutscene. So the chill and relish, creating opportunities to bond with each other, having barbecue dinners, enjoying cool breezes, going stargazing together. Instead of wrecking their brains for a reason, Father's birthday is but the perfect occasion. Arranging the venue, preparing the food. In this process, the children try to incorporate their personal preferences every now and then. I do not mind, as it is the father's duty to provide opportunities for relaxation at the right time. Regrettably, some familiar faces will no longer appear, and for their own variety of reasons. Which need neither concealment nor sugarcoating, the children must all learn not to let sorrow cloud their heart and mind, and uh, be it sooner or later. Your connection with the House of the Hearth, however, is an unexpected delight. Many here are looking forward to seeing you at today's gathering. It, if it is convenient for you, please do not let their expectations go unmet. The hearth at the house is blazing, and the children will be at the door to welcome you. Oh my goodness. Dear, I'm going on a flower adventure right now. I don't have time for that. Can we? Feel like I'm losing my mind. Is it up there? It is. Oh, I think I have a. Damn it, my controller. Go down. Okay, go go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. She's walking by herself. It's my joysticks. Oh, it's gonna drop me a thing! <laughs> it's the chip in my controller is dying, so it's causing things to move by themselves. I can't do nothing about it. Sometimes, it, there's some days where it works fine, and then other oh, days it's just like, nah. Oh. The flowers on the left remind me a lot of looming. The exhibitor paid, paid a large, large sum, sum to rent out the hotel, hotel and surrounding buildings. They're, they're being used as temporary storage, storage facilities, facilities and lodging, and lodging for, for exhibition personnel. Seems a bit excessive. Yeah, yeah what if guests come early? early? They, they will have, have anywhere to stay! stay. Also, oh, right renting out this big of a hotel, how are they going to make that work back? Seems like they might have to moor to burn. I can't read that right. More like they have money to burn. It's been so long. I almost didn't recognize you, Edgar. Well, you and your brother haven't changed a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, but all this catching up is nice and all, but let's get down to business. We need to talk about Kyria. Is he? Oh, hold on. We have guests. Oh my god. It's nice to see you again, Master. Emily? Is that you? <laughs> oh, it's been years. Look at you. You're all grown up. I heard, I heard you've become, become quite, quite the, the famous, famous perfumer, perfumer in Fontaine. It, it would seem the student has surpassed the master. Oh, wow. It's, it's all, all thanks, thanks to your mentorship. mentorship. 
watch just be devastating when she finds out that her master is doing like heinous acts in front of her. Ah, hardly, hardly. 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 I, I taught, taught you the, the basics. basics. Hearing, Hearing you call, you call me, me master. Well, well, I'm, I'm not sure, sure I'm deserving of that, that title. title. Are you sure about that? I've taught I've many, many students, students here in Sumeru over, over the years, years but, but I've yet to see one turn out quite, quite as accomplished as you. you. You're, You're the, the only, only one, one who can take credit, credit for that success. success. And, and who are these two? I don't recall you mentioning them in your letter. Ah, they're my new friends, the Traveler and Paimon. Emily's friend. Well, well then, the, the pleasure, pleasure is all mine. And these two gentlemen, are, are they, they friends, friends of yours, Master? master? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course! <laughs> We're perfume, perfume merchants from Ponte. I'm Oud, and this here is my younger brother, brother Blaze. Blaze. Edgar, Edgar and the two of us are old friends. <laughs> is that right, right gentlemen? <laughs> yes. Merchant Brothers? It's an act. You must be here to look for the flower then. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-
The person who works in it all day, every day is used to it, but somebody who isn't will walk in and be like, oh my god, I can't breathe. Hmm. It almost, it almost sounds, sounds like, like some way where the goose fragrance passed them on the street. Wait, what? are you saying... <laughs> Just speak out loud! <laughs> don't, don't pay me a mind. We don't, we don't have, have much, much to go, to go off, off right now, now but, but we can't, can't rule out that possibility. possibility. I'll, I'll send, send some more people to investigate. To investigate. You, you all travel, travel so far to be here. Why, why don't, don't you rest, rest in the hotel, hotel for a bit? bit. Uh, oh, oh Blake, this, this is the key, key to your room. room. Oh, you got the key room? room? Do we get daylight on TV? Those are fake names, because he was like, uh... Ah, my apologies. All the rooms in the hotel are accounted for, I'm afraid. Most, most are being, being used for storage, storage ahead of the exhibition, you see. I managed to tidy up one of the rooms for these two at the last minute, but by the time Emily wrote to me, there was no more space left for her to stay. Oh, and we just showed up out of the blue. Guess that means there's definitely no space for us. Dude, I have like a, a realm house. The Serenity Pot is literally a whole realm dimension. I can just stay there. Just let me put my teapot on your windowsill or something. <laughs> Can you imagine if she said that? You'd probably look at her like she's psycho. Uh, I, should I should have been, been more considerate. Here I am with an entire hotel at my disposal and no place to offer you to stay. Even after you made the trip all the way to Sumeru. Don't worry, Master. I can sleep on the boat tonight. Or I could even camp in the wild. It would give me the opportunity to collect some plant specimens while near Sumeru. I'm familiar with the Sumeru wilderness girlfriend. Oh, even better. Although, would it be possible for me to leave some of my luggage here? It would be rather cumbersome to take a camping. It shouldn't take up too much space. Well, uh, about that. They're gonna go through her shit. Seems like Edgar and the others don't want anyone to stay near the hotel, but they're also trying not to arouse suspicion. I'm not just imagining things, am I? <laughs> of course, no, no trouble, trouble at all. My, My brother and I will keep an eye, eye on them for you, you as, as long as you don't mind. mind. Yes, yes, all right then. Uh, oh, why, why don't, don't you take Emily inside and find a suitable place for her luggage? I'll prepare some refreshments and join you in a bit. Are they going to go through her stuff? Enter it. Oh, I guess this way. Man, she's so tiny. The fact that she has to climb up with her hands. Duh. Beware my tiny dendro god. For she has to baby crawl her way up the doorways. <laughs> this is a simple normal porch, but for her it's like a small mountain. She must climb over it with her whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the smell of flowers is so strong! Did Edgar say he tied it up around here? There's still so many flowers! Watch her get that allergic reaction again. I took a peek through the window earlier and the house was packed with flowers. Looks like this exhibition is gonna be huge! Do all perfumers have houses filled with flowers? Dude, I wouldn't be able to be in this house. I do suffer from allergies and the fact that I'm trying to get over the Renitis virus right now. I would be dying in here. No, that's, that's a forest, forest thing. thing. We, work we work closely with the essential oils, oils of various plants. plants. But, but to maintain a sharp, sharp sense of smell, most, most perfumers, perfumers prefer, prefer to keep their homes free of strong odors. Oh! Guess, guess there's just too, too much, much to store for the exhibition then. I wonder, if you were to have a lot of flowers and then start cooking, would the smell from the food permeate the flowers like what if you're making like a strong pasta would the flower smell like it over time if that's something you did all the time i'm curious what's behind this door bro oh, this, room this room seems, seems to, be to be a connected, connected suite, suite. And, my and my brother, brother will be staying, staying on the other side of the suite. suite so many sparkles in my room so many sparkles in my mind Blaze, while, while you're, you're out, out why don't, why don't you bring, you bring our lovely jojo as well Blaze. <laughs> 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 Oh, so, uh, that, yes, yes, of course. Of course. All, All right, right then. then. Uh, where, where can we find your luggage, Mademoiselle? Blaze will go, go fetch it for you. 
on the boat downstairs. It's still at the port. In addition to some daily necessities, there's also a case of amber wine that I brought back from Fontaine. Could I trouble you to bring that back as well? It would be the perfect way to repay you for your hospitality. She's going to drug them so hard. <laughs> How generous. I should thank you on my brother's behalf. You've stumbled upon his weakness. He's aloof about most things. But alcohol is his one true love. That's sad. Is that so? I'm going to peek into your mind with my water drop eyes. <coughs> Amber wine. Now that's a Fontaine specialty I've never heard of before. Mr. Ood, Mr. Ood, Mr. Blaze, thanks, thanks for... for... He's been bagged. That's the master's, master's voice. voice. Quick, let's go see what's going on. He's been bagged. He's been bagged, this tiny bed. Look at these fucking tables in here. They're half her size. This everything's so good. Enter his room? Wait, what am I, what? Uh. Oh. Oh, look, at, it's that thing. It's the thing that's gonna connect me to Skara. Oh my god, please no. Not again, not again. Let me out of here! <sighs> He's like, do you want to get trapped in my mind palace again? <laughs> no. Once was good enough for me. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> <sighs> no. What the f- As you rush out of the hotel, you detect a new fragrance. That's all I was able to read. Edgar. Master! Hey, Edgar! Are you alright? Right? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Who did this? Well, I'll try to help you get with the Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Investigate bottles. That strange smell, smell around, around here. here. Is, it, Is coming it coming from, from this bottle? bottle? That's a fancy bottle, bro. Only a small amount of liquid is left inside the bottle, and streaks of residue can be seen on both the mouth and the sides of the vessel. Seems like somebody forcibly poured out whatever was inside the bottle. I have a feeling the liquid in this bottle is... Mm. Oh, really? really? You think, think so? so? Yeah. What's here? Kids. Can you help me clear the way? Do you think whoever did this, this was hiding in the flowers, flowers before, before they attacked Edgar? Had Edgar? Possibly. There are no footprints in the flower bed, and it doesn't look like any of the branches or leaves have been disturbed. Unless the culprit was your size, it would probably be difficult. True. Well, you know who also is small? Fucking Nahida. She fits right in this bush. You can't even see her. Look at the shit. Flower beads. Do you think you ever did I double clicked it by accident. I checked. It doesn't look like anyone passed through here. That's impossible. This is like that kid can just grow some wings and fly away. That kid. Oh, uh, the culprit, I mean. It's not like the culprit could have just disappeared into thin air. Ooh, it is a child. He literally gave it away. Well, we looked all over, but the only clue we found was that bottle. 
The most the important, important thing we can do now is focus, focus our efforts, efforts on treating Master. Master. Can, can you, you help, help me move him inside? inside? Sure. You and Emily carefully move him inside. By ourselves, the other two burly guys, one in anyway, just stood there and watched. The other dude could have, Blaze could have lifted him up by himself. Guys built like a fucking rock. Dion Way shaped body. Dion Way is a Dynasty Warriors character. He's bald. He serves so so. Anyway. So, how's it feeling? When, when I administered, I administered emergency, emergency treatment, treatment, I discovered, I discovered a, residue a residue in his nose and mouth. mouth. Master was, was most likely forced, forced to ingest a certain liquid. liquid. He's, He's still unconscious, unconscious and using, using vomiting, vomiting could obstruct his airways. We'll, we'll have to look into other clues for him. We found this bottle just now. Ah, yes. The scent is the same, but the chemical composition is still unclear. We'll have, have to do, to do further, further tests, tests to determine, determine if it's the same liquid, liquid and how and toxic it is to the human body. body. But, but first, first, I do I believe there are two people who could shed some light on the situation. Mr. Sylvain, Mr. Mr. Lucian. She knows their real names. Wait, wait, wait you know... Hey! <clears throat> Were you talking to us, Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle? I've never, never heard of those names before. <laughs> before arriving in Sumeru, I asked, I asked a friend, a friend from, from the Special, special Patrol, Patrol to look, look into the creators of the ghost. There, there were four, four people, people in total. total. The perfumer, Edgar, Edgar the one the thrust into, into the limelight, and, and three others. others. A, a researcher, researcher from Sumeru, Sumeru responsible, responsible for cultivating, cultivating the Auguste flower, flower, and two, two merchant, merchant brothers, brothers responsible for promoting the product on the market. market. The, the two brothers capitalized on the mythos surrounding the ghost. Their, Their actions roared in numerous, numerous speculators and profiteers, inflating the price of a goose even further. In the end, they were sent to the Fortress of Merapi for falsifying their accounts and destabilizing the market. If you do the math, they should be out of prison by now. <laughs> and what does that have to do with us? There are countless merchant families in Fontaine. Are you gonna accuse them of being criminals too? Why did his voice just change? Now he's southern. Every time your brother called you Blaze, it took you several seconds to respond. But when I called you Lucian just now, the name registered immediately. Hi, this is... Ah, oh, Miss Emily. Out of respect for your position as a famous perfumer in Fontaine, I'm inclined to believe that was simply a poor attempt at humor. You have a bright future ahead of you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want, want to, develop to develop a reputation as someone who throws around false accusations, especially among merchants. You, you claim, claim to be regular, regular perfume, perfume merchants, and, and yet, yet, when, when I, brought I brought up amber, amber wine, wine, you took it to be alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> what? Yes. Just as I thought. Amber wine is a perfume I created several years ago. It wasn't particularly renowned, but I'm certain any respectable perfume merchant in Fontaine would know of it, unless recently. They were they living, living somewhere, somewhere completely, completely cut, cut off from the perfume world. world. Hmm. Somewhere, somewhere like the Fortress of Meribede, perhaps? Emily, you little! Don't you even think about it. I'll strike you down. <laughs> Don't you put your fucking hands on her. Don't, Don't misunderstand, Mr. Sylvain. I don't, I don't bring, bring this up to criticize you. you. No, no matter, matter what, what happened, happened all those years ago, years ago the, court the court has already passed its judgment. judgment. But, but Master's life is in danger. danger. We, we need to learn whatever we can about the person who has done this. If Master's attack had something to do with the goose, I would imagine the two of you might also be in danger. So I'd like to trouble you for some information, if I may. Tell me about Kiryu. Fine, as you wish. Sylvain! Lucian, if this will help us find Kira, then it will be all worth it. Besides, we've already told most of the stuff to the Maison orally, anyway. You were right, Miss Emily, there were four of us at the beginning. Myself, Lucian, Edgar, and the researcher from Sumeru in charge of flower cultivation, Vijar. Sometime down the road, the Mara Chaussé phantom came knocking. Saddles, with a with list of accusations, has well, started looking into, into, into our books. They did their meddling, and my, and my brother, brother Edgar, Edgar and I were forced to serve time in the, in the fortress, fortress as a result. Sounds like you still upset about that. Wait, Wait then how did Edgar end up to meet you? Master was convicted as an accomplice, so he only had to serve a few years. He decided to move to Sumeru so that he could put those events behind him. Still. 
Master, Master was depressed, was depressed for a, a long time, time after, after that. that. He stopped, he stopped making, making new perfumes and focused on introducing students to the craft instead. Which is how he met you. That's, That's how, how I met him. Mm -hmm. My parents had to relocate to Sumeru for work when I was a child, so I had the chance to study under him for a little while. But we can talk about that some other time. I want to hear more about this researcher, Vijava. Like us, Vijava was also staring down an investigation from the Mamashose Phantom. But, but before, before the phantom, phantom showed up at her door, door she, she set, set all the flower beds on fire. fire. Along, Along with, with much, much of the moral we managed, managed to earn, all, all the accused flowers, everything, everything we worked to create, was, was reduced, reduced to nothing, nothing but a pile of ash. But destroying all the heavens, wouldn't that make things worse for her? It didn't matter at that point, because she died in the fire as well. What? <laughs> what? Since you did an investigation of your own, why even ask us if you knew all of this already? Curious name still hasn't come up. The name wasn't mentioned in any of the files I reviewed either. But you two seem quite familiar with him. Hmm. Well, you gonna think? Kiria uh, was Vijava's younger brother. Now we're getting somewhere. He was just a clueless kid back then. Somewhere in his teens, I think. He helped his sister with her work sometimes, but that was pretty much it. He didn't have any idea what we were doing. So, I bet you what it is, is he's holding them accountable for his sister's death. Like, oh, she set herself on fire because of you. I'm gonna get my revenge. Vijava kept him close most of the time. The three, the three of us, of us were, were probably, probably the only, only ones, ones who even knew she had a brother. After, After all, our operation, operation was compromised. He disappeared. He disappeared. There were no signs, signs of him until recently, when, when people, people started, started saying the Agust flower had reappeared in Sumeru. So, you think Kyria took something with him back then? Something, something that allowed him to reproduce the Agust flower? <sighs> Vijava doted on the kid like he wouldn't believe. She even she told, told us to give her cut to her brother if anything happened to her. her. If she, if she left, left something behind before she died, died believe me, Kiri is the one that has it. it. And, and judging by, by the liquid, liquid in that bottle, bottle the agust flower wasn't was the only thing he reproduced. He managed to replicate the perfume itself. So the liquid that Kiri was forced to ingest really was agust. Wait, is that that agust is poison? Well, I don't think you're supposed to drink perfumes or colognes in general. I would never try that shit. <coughs> Poison? <laughs> of, of course, course not. not. No, no perfume is meant, meant to be ingested. ingested. Even, Even small, small amounts, amounts can be dangerous. That alone ingesting, ingesting a whole bottle was. was. If a goose could be considered a poison, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have, have even sold half, half a bottle back then. Edgar, Edgar fell unconscious because Kyria forced him to drink perfume. It just, it just happened, happened to, to be, be a ghost. ghost. Strange. Sylvain seems nervous all of a sudden. Okay, why did Kyria attack him then? <laughs> he, probably he probably thought we had something, something to do with his, his sister's, sister's death. death. Told you. But, but to, to tell, tell you the, the truth, truth, I have no, no idea why, why she did all that. that. We're not looking for Kyria because we have it out for him. We just wanted to see how he was doing. And if possible, Work together, work together to bring, to bring back, back a ghost. A we only went to prison for the fraud and market manipulation. It had nothing to do with the product itself. As long as we keep things honest this time around, bringing the product back to market would almost be like honoring his sister's memory. Yeah, I don't know about that. So that's why you never mentioned Kyria during your interrogation? Yes, exactly. We, we were, were just looking, looking out for the kid. kid. Anyway, anyway, that's all, all we know. know. If you're, you're looking for information, information on what's in a goose, or what, what to do if you ingest it, there are only two people to ask. ask. Edgar, Edgar, or Kyria himself. himself. Well, well, at, at least, least we're able to say for certain, certain that the substance Edgar, Edgar ingested was in fact a goose. That gives us a direction for further testing. Well, well, then, I'd, I'd say that was a very enlightening discussion. discussion. Well, glad, glad to hear it. it. Lucille, let's head back to the room and rest a bit. With, with everything, everything that's, that's happened, happened, there are, are things, things that need reconsidering. 
Yes, of course. Hmm. They're still hiding something. Huh. You think so too? Mm -hmm. That does seem to be the case. Pity we don't have more nothings. But based on Sylvain's tone of voice just now, I suspect further questioning will only result in more made-up answers. The way you exposed them like that, just based on a hunch, that was genius. Are you really just a perfumer who looks after people in your spare time? Oh, oh right. right. Earlier you, you said there were, were only sort of a doctor. doctor. And then and your, your patients, patients were unusual. unusual. Are you lying to us, too? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's, That's because, because most, most of the patients, patients I encounter are already dead. Uh-huh. Uh so you are a forensic doctor? Close. I'm actually a forensic cleaner. Once the forensic team and the Mara Chassé Phantom are done collecting evidence from the scene, I'm in charge of clearing away the final traces my patients leave on the world. In fact, with just a small alteration in the formula, the same tincture used as the base of perfume can also be made into a cleaning agent. Basically, there are two sides to forensics. Those who collect evidence to expose the truth, and those who clean up the smells, bloodstains, and other substances left behind the scene. Other substances, my mind is like, fucking don't say it like that. You can start being like those one people that say, whip out the ectoplasm lamps, like the, the black lights, because you can see... How do I word that? You can see white stains. I'm gonna just say that with a black light. You actually can. That's disturbing. Actually, not really. I do think forensic science is very interesting. I think it's a very interesting subject. It's cool to see what you can't see with your eyes using certain sprays and lights and stuff. How you can find traces of things like blood and other things <coughs> that you normally wouldn't be able to see. Like, if, something try if somebody tries to clean it up, you can use a light and still see where it used to be. I think that's pretty interesting. I've learned, I've learned a lot in my line of work, and I've witnessed, witnessed a lot of death. Lot of death. Mm -hmm. But this time, we may we still save the patient. patient. Actually, Actually Traveler, could, could I trouble you to report back, back to Tainari and the officers at Port Armos? We should we update them on the situation. situation. Will do. I'll, I'll stay, stay here and continue, continue to look after, after Master. Master. Now that, now that we, we have, have a sample of a ghost, I'm, I'm hoping for their analysis, analysis won't be too difficult. That kid was an idiot, though. Well, it's probably not a kid. That's probably just how they refer to him. But why would you leave something at the crime of the scene? The scene of the crime. Like, oh yeah, here's this bottle of this shit I made. Don't worry, not like it has my fingerprints all over it. Like, what the fuck? That's almost as stupid as robbing a store and leaving your fucking ID on the table. Master looks a lot older than when I last saw him. I just hope he can hold on. Girl, are those fruits? I'm gonna eat that. Fucking. Da 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 da. Feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go find Tainari. I have Tainari. I could just pull him out if I felt like it. My low poly textures. She kind of bounces when she jumps. Where are you? Flowers. Man, why is he so? Hold on. But it did 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 auto walking because my control receive Alexandra's letter who <laughs> my sincere gratitude traveler there's all the other the letter that must be left already but where could you go in that old rusket bucket rust what huh what the fuck who's Alexandra 
Excuse me, does anybody know who Alex is? Who who's Alex? Are you Alex? Green water. Woo! Why is it so green? Has it always been like that? What the fuck? I have a cousin named Alex, but it ain't her. Or him. I have two cousins named that. A male and a female. I don't talk to them, of course. But, uh... 